Strap on in, everybody. These next two parts are going to be pretty long. I hope you enjoy, and please sit back and enjoy the show. Welcome, y'all. Welcome, welcome back. Or, for the first time, for some reason, if you're on the last or second to last part of Dirt's quest, I don't know why you haven't watched the one before, but go watch that if you haven't. Come back here, and then watch me crush it at this at this option right here. So, try one more time to convince him to drop the idea of playing the game, or give it a rest and talk about something else. Um... Let's give it a rest. Honestly, I think he's probably pissed off. Give it a rest. Holy shit, this is excruciating. I keep thinking if I ignore this bullshit, it would sort itself out. But Christ. I don't need to see this. No one needs to see this. What the fuck? What the fuck indeed? What just happened? Did... Oh boy. Are we gonna see him? Huh? Wait, can he not hear? You stopped the choice train once before yourself, but you've never been interrupted by someone else. I thought we were having a chill bro moment until just now. I have no clue what you're talking about. I can't believe I was ever this pathetic. Derek, you had an all day, every day to do nothing but get swollen both body and mind. And this is how you spend your time, looking wistfully out at the sky. No wonder you're out here falling for this friendship friend sim's weak shit overturns. Oh my god! What?! Once again, you find yourself looking around for a Dirk who is nowhere to be found. Regular Dirk, who you were finally getting somewhere with, is looking at you like you've lost your marbles. Dirk really doesn't hear that. It sounds like him, just like older and meaner. No, dude, are you okay? Okay, fine. If your meager little brain needs me to assume corporeal form in order to process this, I'll do it. Feast your eyes. Holy shit. Holy shit. Sup, Dirk. I'll get with you in a minute. I have to deal with this little metal at first. He turns to you and you step back flexibly. Reflexively. Your eyes flicker to your Dirk, who is starting, start, start, staring, mouth slack at his older self. I've let you piss around for far too long. To be fair to myself, which is important, I have had a lot on my plate, creating a whole species of scratches and child's way. This is loud! Holy shit, that was loud. Oh my god, it's still loud. Why is it so loud? Ah! It's a good song, it's just... It's so fucking loud. Okay. So I let this go on, figuring you'd fuck up and die for real, but you keep coming back and it's getting out of hand. So the plan is this, let my man Dirk do his thing. You fuck off and let people live their arts. I clean up your mess and then get back to being God, while this timeline continues on as it's supposed to. Are we good? Jesus. Alternate alternate timelines and multiple cells aren't anything particularly new to you. You think, you think, but you still don't know what got so far up his ass here. No. We're not good. You were in the middle of something. A sacred rite of friendship to be fucked up by no one but yourself. You don't know what kind of stuff this future holds, but that isn't your purview. This is. And he's the one interrupting that. Oh my god, I can't work like this. You have to understand the scale we're working with. He flips you upside the temple and you feel instantly like your brain got strapped to the nose of a rocket ship on liftoff. MSPAR. MSPA reader. Remember. You see a young man standing in his bedroom. Wait, you know him. Your eyes roll in the back of your head as you feel his story rush into you. Panel by panel, page by page, some of it you remember when you were trapped in Doc Scratch's apartment. None of this stuff is newer, raw, and sweet, and sickening. Oh no. The epilogues! Everybody! Fuck it! Ah! Honks and claws and glubs and blood and bloods froth together in a synaptic transmutation of an unholy cultural zeitgeist that jolts through your like light, blasting down your cerebral cortex and out through your clenched teeth. When it's done, you collapse to the floor. Oh, fuck. You remember it. You remember, Homestuck. It's all so fresh, too. So many of your friends. Dead. Some of them more than once. Shit. Shit, 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 shit! Dirk! You open your eyes and Dirk is standing over you, his hand on your shoulder. Oh, good. You're alive. You were starting to freak me out. Almost as much as shredded and deranged me over there is freaking me out, but let's just take this all in a step at a time. Anyway, now that you're up, what just happened? Future me was being a real cryptic dick while you were conked out. Patience is a virtue, Dirk. I just had to get our time-traveling buddy informed first so they can make the right call. 
Shit, okay. You don't know where to begin. You look at Dirk's face, not even trying to hide his concern for you. And holy shit, you care about him. You cared about him before you knew every tiny fucked up detail about his life, and now you're with a, rem with a reminder of where his story leads. And le le yeah, leads leaning smugly against the railing, you find you still do. He's intense and pushy and profoundly complicated, and right now he is helping you to your feet, his hand steady and firm on your back as you find your balance. You look back and forth between the two of them, trying to organize your thoughts as Dirk waits for you to respond. This isn't as simple as an evil Dirk and a good one. If you learned anything from your travels, it's that everyone has the capacity for hurt inside of them, and everyone the capacity for love. It's just a matter of proportion, proportion of choice, of circumstance, of time, and, if you're being fair, of interpretation too. Part of you wants to grab Dirk and run, to save him from this trajectory he's on. But then, if you claim that level of control, are you really any better than Ultimate Dirk is, himself? Who the fuck are you to make these choices for other people? What gives you the right to wrench cannon from the people it belongs to? The people it's about? Why does it always, always come back to you? Making a fucking choice! Go ahead and answer him. I'll correct you if you get anything wrong, don't worry. Oh, you bet he fucking will, you say. No doubts there. You pause your internal debate, take a deep breath, and explain things from your, to your friend. This is the Mega Dirk, the combo of all sphinx splinters of Dirk, fermenting in his, fresh, in his flesh container and not holding on to his shit nearly as well as he likes to pretend. Ultimate Dirk tiss. You wish. You ignore him and continue explaining. Ultimate Dirk has done a lot of heinous shit to the people he used to care about, to the people Dirk cares about. And he just brain blasted you with memories you used to have of, among other things, everything that will ever happen to Dirk and his friends in the future, all in order to convince you to keep everything on that path. He wants the same thing Dirk just finished arguing with you about wanting a future where they play the game. Dirk is still staring at Ultimate Dirk. Shit. You keep going, telling him you know it might be far-fetched from his vantage point, but this is a path he goes down. Dirk finally speaks. No, I can see it. I mean, if anyone was going to pull in I am you but stronger, it would be all of me combined. Exactly. So, now we should all be on the same page vis-a-vis vis -vis -vis what we all need to do. Which starts with the flat fuck going back to wherever they came from, and then the rest of us going back to our regularly scheduled programming. God, you can't even look at this guy, you think, as you look at him. He's so smug, trapped so far down the path he's planned for himself that he can't even entertain the idea that he could be wrong without it tearing him apart. The more you look at him, the more you can't stand him. The Prince of Hard-Ass Bastard destroying everything you worked to make. Fuck! Forget all that stuff you worried about before. How dare you let yourself be convinced he could be right. Your allegiance is not to the story, but to the people within it. No matter what. You, do you have a plan for how to protect your friends without the tenets of canon? No! Do you give a single shitting fuck? Also no! You know he could end you immediately, but you feel freed by the number of times you've died. You do not fear him, he is not your concern. You turn to Dirk. You're sorry, you say, but fuck this guy. Fuck, get a little of this guy! Little, little shit ass over here! Now listen to him. Everything you just remembered, all that stuff he was using to prove his point, it only makes you even more sure of what you said before. That Dirk can still be happy without all that. He doesn't have to play the game to beat it. Wow, listen to them trying to boss you around like that, Dirk. They'll tell you what you don't do. Don't for a second think I'm gone. I'm too far gone to remember what it's like to be you. Don't pretend you haven't wanted to know what I know, to align every part of yourself until you know it all, feel it all. Don't be afraid of becoming who you need to become. The ends always justify the means, Dirk. We know this. Fuck that! You're sorry to yell, but you can never yell this much, but fuck that! This bitch can't bear the thought of a timeline existing without his existence, or even his worldview, that everything has to be painful to, to matter. Things are already painful enough. He doesn't have to work over time to create more pain just so he can feel like he's in control of how much punishment he gets and how badly he deserves it. Because Dirk doesn't deserve it, you say. And you look at the one you meant you mean it for. He's not looking back at you. He's looking at Ult Dirk, and there's something about the soft fallen arch of his eyebrows that just folds you up and eats you whole. It's longing like you've never seen in your life, deep and consuming, with a sliver of glint of loathing. He's going to drown in it if you don't do something. What could you do, you wonder? You care about him, and he does about you, to a degree. You know Dirk now, and you know how he loves through its, its, though its fears to a defined, definite fault. He does not do it easily. You're not the one who can get him through this. He hasn't known you long enough, but you can be a bridge. But to whom?
Part of you wants to test out a few things, to throw a couple friends at the wall and see what sticks. That doesn't sit right with the you with you right now, though. It's messy, and you know Dirk would hate having his feelings experimented on like that. Even after all this, you find yourself not wanting to do that to him. Thank fuck for your side ability to anime monologue to yourself in your head without time passing too quickly. Ah, yes, the JoJo um, ability, where you can monologue to yourself and not use a turn. <laughs> <sighs> because you really need to think this one through. You have to pick one single person to help convince him he doesn't need what Ultimate Dirk is offering. Jake? God no, not right now. He'd be eaten alive by Ultimate Dirk, and you can't do that to him. He's your friend too. Maybe a wild card, someone Dirk doesn't know but could get along with. Equius? He's like Dirk if Dirk liked to get bossed around, so they might get along great, actually. Though you need someone who can tell Dirk what to do in this moment, so then again, maybe not. You can't hedge your bets and bring everyone, because that just overwhelm him, plus there's no budget or time for that. The answer punches you hard in the chest, and you're about to zap sneak away to find them when Ultimate Dirk speaks up. That was a touching range just gave, very compelling. You know what, fine, do, do what you do best, and choose, steal him away to obscurity or leave him to his destiny. I'm not worried, in fact, as a show of trust in my younger splinter, I'll even fuck off myself until go time. On the one... On the one in a million chance you do actually get him to go with you, there's no way that's going to be a good end. We all know he'll regret it. He'll second guess if it was the right thing every day of his life until he realizes what a flaccid existence he's leading. But by then, it'll be too late. Do your worst. Yeah, jolts, and he's gone. There's a beat of silence where you try to work out how to act normal, now that you know what you know. But thankfully, he speaks first. Are all your hangouts this buck fucking wild, or did you really pull all this, all the stops for me? Well, you are just about to j pull out another when Ultimate Dirk just blasted off like that. It's not too late, though, if he'll agree to at least hear you out. Well then, by all means, continue pulling. Let's see where this shit takes us. You'll be right back, you tell him. I'll be right here, just chilling, contemplating existence in my place in it. No worries. Ooh, this is pretty... Why why do we not see more of the world? I want to see people walking around. This looks like such a cool little, like, setting. The chess people. The zap this time is even more disorienting than your sideways universe zaps. You know why, though, since you know everything. You're not sure you're supposed to do what you're supposed to do here. You're supposed to be here, but Ultimate Dirk already accused you of fucking shit up, so why not fuck shit up a little harder? Be like Aradia. Fuck shit up for the giggles. You want to go pick up this person, and specifically this per version of this person. The version you made friends with already isn't ready to meet Dirk yet, probably. But thanks to your recent mind freak, you remember this one. Having lost his Dirk- Oh, shit, we're going- This is- Oh, this is epilogue! We got to- the, We've got- We've- Universe hopped again to the epilogue, Earth C. Whoa, what the- Who the fuck are you? Okay, answer that question. You guess you fucked things up to the point that the candy timeline is not the same as the one you were making friends in before. This is probably the stuff Ultimate Dirk is so bent out of shape about fixing. Well, it is what it is. You didn't have time to come up with your elevator pitch, but your work bets that you're full powered to empathy. Zero to planning. Here we go. Uh, hey, you tell him. Sorry to intrude, but you have a pretty big favor to ask him. You know how he doesn't know you. You know he doesn't know you, but you know an alternate version of him that lives outside canon. You met and went to Olive Garden, made friends, and you promised you were legit. Bro, you said all- <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you said Olive Garden, you got me. <laughs> This is why I love Dave. This is why Dave's the GOAT! The GOAT! Yo, you said all garden, you got me. That's like a magic word to get me to trust you implicitly. <laughs> Don't spread that around though. Also, you look like someone ironed the mayor, so that's someone ironed the mayor, so that's like a million more points in your favor. And I'm doing dick else that's useful all today. Or any day, to be real with you. So, what's the favor? Okay, whew, great. The favor is that you can you need to borrow him for a quick moment so he can help you have a com com conversation with your universe's Dirk. At the sound of Dirk's name, he goes still. See, Dirk's con convinced he needs to take the advice of another universe's way shittier Dirk and retcon your whole friendship mission so that they can go off and make canon happen, which ends pretty badly for a lot of people, your friends, involved. And now that you know that, you really want him to just side with you and let everyone chill and hang out and live their lives, and you're not sure of all the details about how that will work yet, but the point is that Dirk... I'm in. Great. Sick. Yes. Okay. You take his hand and off you go. When you pop back in, Dirk is standing how he was when you first met him, casually braced for an emotionally fatal impact. 
There's a moment when Dirk and Dave just stare at each other down, like neither of them are fully ready to register the reality of the other. You really fucking hope this works, because it's your Hail Mary. Sup? Holy fuck, man. I didn't think invoking the name of Olive Garden would have this much effect to hear the fuck we are. I mean, sub. Yeah, sub. That's beautiful. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. This is a this is a touching ass moment. This is a touching ass moment. Dave pulls him into a short back thumping bro hug, which Dirk weathers like a wet cat not trusting a towel to dry him off. So so I'll be real with you, we've already had a version of this first meeting convo and we used like a lightning round conversational mechanism to get shit popping. But I get the feeling we don't have time for all that right now, so I'll skip a few steps for you. Our little mutual friend here says you got options. Well, they seem to think so, I think I do, but I'm not convinced. You have options, you have opinions on what, about it? Sure do. I mean, I do just about, I do anything this little pal suggests after what they just did for me, but like, what do you, what's even the situation? They don't, <laughs> they don't want you to play Spurb and some others, some other you does. There's a little more to it than that, but yes, that's the gist. He wants some chat. This is good, you think. Good, but you're not sure it's enough. You think Dirk is your friend now, but the more you think about it, the weirder the word feels in your brain. Friendship man means something different to everyone you've met. Safety. Fun. A wake-up call. A person to talk to. You hope that, for at least some of them, you've helped them see what is lovable inside themselves. You look at Dirk and wonder if he'll be one of those. He's being so polite to Dave. He must be afraid. Does Dirk even believe others can, of their own volition, love him? You tune back in. Man, if you wanted to argue about can, you should have asked your bro here to get all, like, like anybody else to come along. That shit's not my forte, but it seems to me that it's not some immutable bash of narrative sanctity. It's just some shit some asshole said and did and some choices they made. Okay, well, I, if I don't follow the plan, beat the game, and get to where we are now, how do I know my choices will still matter? I don't know, man. You're not in my timeline anymore because of a choice you made a while back, so my mileage may vary a bit. Dirk shifts it backwards. You wish he looked more surprised about it. Oh, yeah. I don't want to waste your time or anything. Just getting to talk to you is worth it, so I don't know. I do what you gotta do, but like coming from me, a guy who could have so done some stuff differently himself, at least try to trust your friend. I know you don't like believing this stuff, but maybe listen to the people who like you for you, because they mean it. I'm rambling now, so I guess if I have one thing to say to you, it'd be, it's okay not to have all the answers. Yeah, that's, that's what I tell you. Dirk nods. So, I'm processing that. A lot. But I also cannot go any further in this conversation without telling you that our little friend is liminal enough to actually be able to hold the sword. Oh, holy fuck, yo, what? Oh, wow. Dave, huh? Okay, bringing the fucking guns to a knife fight here. I didn't expect this level of underhanded maneuvering from you, but I'll respect the play. Fuck you. Doesn't matter anyway. I'll come back with my own sheet. Sorry for the delay. I had to deal with some shit on my end. New plan. Forget us all going our separate ways to fix shit. Dirk, you're coming with me. Your friend was right about one thing. Things don't need to go back to the way they were. But not for any lame reason like the power of love. I have plans bigger than that. I promise you, this limp dick excuse for a friend doesn't measure up to all the shit I could show you, will show you. Sure, it might hurt to leave your friends behind at first, and sure, you'll miss out on Jake's carnal, ch carnal charms, but that emptiness will fade when you realize the true power we have. Ultimate Dirk extends his hand, his cape fills obnoxiously behind him. Dirk looks at you, and then Dave. Shit, shit, they were almost there! You have no time left to waste, you close your eyes and will the choice to come to you. Stop him! Don't stop him! One of those has to work, right? You don't feel confident. You look at Dirk, and then it hits you. Ultimate Dirk was, maddeningly, right. It won't work if there's room for Dirk to regret it. You're not sure either of you would ever be certain to feel it's the right choice unless you let Dirk choose for himself. No more telling him what to do. No more telling anyone what to do. When you feel the choice pricking at you, it turns outward. You flip the power in your belly inside out and give the weight of it up for a moment to him. You wait to see what Dirk does with the thing warring in him. You see it manifest in his brain and in yours, and your stomach plunges. It feels rigged from the start. There's no way Dirk will choose you and Dave when he's gone and framed it like that. God damn it. Too late to change anything yourself. You wait for Dirk to choose. And in so doing, we shall save.
and in so doing, we will continue. This is too epic to stop now. We have to trust them. Sorry, man. Your heart drops, and then you see who he's looking at. Guess you couldn't call this one a bad end, yeah? Luckily for you, there's almost definitely another of me that can't wait to sail this and sees a story with you or some shit. He licks his lips and raises his chin, brace for ultimate to challenge his call. I assume with your huge fucking brain you can see that happening as we speak, yes? So no need to be a sore loser now. Be good to that me, will you? Treat him right. As right as he wants me to, I promise. Anyway, I did say one in a million odds, so sad statistically you have to wuss out at least once. It's fucking gross to experience. Good thing I'll get totally assimilated to the other versions of this conversation. Now, now it's not really the time to play the actually, it's usually just a, bin just a binary card. Don't want to complicate the particular issue with him, so you let it lie. He said forward, shoulder brushing dirks. Don't gloat, it's gauche. Enjoy the moment of irrelevance before this one goes down the drain. Deuces. Yes. Hell yes! You stop your celebration when you notice Dirk is a little shaky. Holy shit, what did I just do? This future you have in the works better be fucking good, my dude. Are you kidding me? They got it on lock! Oh, he knows it. You don't tell him you don't know every single detail yet, but you understand yourself now. You'll work it out when you need to. You always do. It's okay, you think. If Dirk is a little afraid, it comes to the territory when you let people in. And you'll have even more practice with that as soon as you can zap up some more company. It won't be smooth sailing, though, you warn him. As long as we move past the sailing metaphor, you can jack that difficulty level up as high as you like. Oh, we... Oh, we are we anti-ocean here? Oh, yeah, extremely. Fuck water, am I right? Dirk turns his head slightly, and you know he's looking at you. He smiles, and you know he gets it. It's not about this being the real timeline or the fake one. The hard one or the easy one. It's about it being his, if he wants it. Which you realize as you watch him turn back to laugh on Dave, he does. 